Hello, my short torso friends. It has been my most highly requested video ever. And does a lot of pressure tend to make me overthink and very anxious? Yes, it does. But here we are and I am so excited to share my 10 tips if you have a short torso, long leg body type like me for wearing active wear. The world of high rise and crop tops, both of which are very challenging for our body types and I'm gonna tell you how to pull it off. I'm kind of dividing this into two different sections. The first section, we're gonna talk about bottoms, and then the second section, we'll talk about tops. And of course, we're gonna talk about how to you know, interplay and intermix it all. And some of these tips might sound familiar, and some of them will be new. This first one is pick the shorter inseam. Do not match your inseam to your actual inseam. Go one step shorter. Now, that's going to be different for all of us. I've seen some of your inseams, you've sent them to me, and they are long, but no matter. Just pick one that is a step shorter than your actual inseam. This is mainly because low-rise leggings do not exist. I'm convinced, I don't think they exist. There's a few mid-rise options. It was really nice in the days where we had the fold-over yoga pants from Victoria's Secret. Then we could really make those work for our favor. But until those return, and I don't know if we even want those to return, but for the most part right now, high-rise pants and even super high-rise leggings are like the thing that everyone uses. A shorter inseam is going to be your friend. Literally because you're taking the color block from your legs from this, to this, it just makes them a touch shorter. So tip number two, because we're talking about kind of almost your ankles right now, right, with your inseam. The next step is to choose a shoe that is a pop. I call it a pop of shoe. Sometimes you call it a pop of color. You want a pop of shoe. You want your shoes to look different from your legs. If you pair black shoes with black leggings, your legs are gonna look really long. Even if you leave that peep of skin out. You can, it does work. If you want a even more effect to shorten your legs and make them look more proportional to the rest of your body, you're going to want that shoe in a different color. My favorite is white shoes very on trend right now. And then I have a lot of dark leggings. Remember when we're talking about our vertical proportions, we're talking about our entire body head to toe. Your toes include your feet. And if you can make your feet look different from your legs, your legs are gonna look more proportional to everything else. This next one might be hard to hear. And that's okay. I think it's about embracing the differences and being okay with them. And that is that some high rise will always be too high. It will always be too high. We cannot get past that. If something is a 14 inch rise, there's nothing you can do that's gonna make that better. The nice thing about activewear is that it's easier to tailor. My advice is to find one that you love, one that really fits your body. Go out, try on 100, find the one, and then buy multiple colors of one. My personal favorite are the Wonder Unders from Lululemon. I know they're expensive, but I honestly cannot find ones I like better that last as long and that make me feel as good. Now this one could have been its own tip, but I didn't want to put 11 tips. So this is a bonus tip under this tip. And that is the nice thing about activewear is that it's really flexible. So you can move it around. You can do my little pull down trick and no one's gonna know. Those folds are gonna be harder to see. You can shimmy them down your leg a little bit easier because it's just all kind of there and stuck to you anyway. It's not like jeans that are super rigid or have to be in a certain spot. Leggings are a lot easier to move around. So you can pull off high rise, just put it where you want it to be, and then kind of mush that fabric around until it makes you feel comfortable. Again, a shorter inseam will help with that, which is another reason I really like the Wonder Unders because the tighter, this is like two bonus tips for one bonus tip. This should have been a 12 tip thing, but the tighter the compression, the more that adjustment is going to stay. If you have a really soft yoga pant, like the Align pants, as you adjust them, they might move back. They're not gonna stay to where you want them to be on your body. So I like a little bit more compression, but not so much compression that it's like stuck to my body and I can't move it at all. This is only tip number four, but it should be like number six after those two bonus tips. This tip is about joggers because the bigger the jogger is, like the poofier it is, the harder it's going to be to fit on your your body. And maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm really tall and I have really long legs. That might be the only like special case that that works for. But if you are on the shorter side or more average side with long legs, then as you try to make those joggers lower rise, you're going to have a lot of extra fabric kind of bunching up at the bottom, which is just kind of a more uncomfortable look. So if you go for a thinner fabric and a slimmer leg, you're actually going to be able to move it around your body a lot easier. I got a pair of the Viore joggers for Christmas and they fit me so well. They're slightly cropped, which I didn't realize was going to be a thing, but it works on my body super well. So if you're looking for just like a really cozy pair of joggers, highly, highly recommend those. But I think all around, if you are looking for maybe one or two outfits of active wear, but I would choose all one color 
or all kind of similar tonal colors for your top and bottoms. The reason for that is because yes, we're dealing with high rise and yes, we're dealing with crop tops. And the more we can make it look like they aren't high rise and aren't crop tops while still being high rise and crop tops, the better. So choosing a color that is going to look like you're just head to toe in one color, that is going to be best for your body and showing it off. Then if you have a little bit of skin peeking out here or there, then we can talk about contrast, which we'll get into in a second. But in general, go for the whole matching set it doesn't have to be matching but all black all white all green all blue because that contrast highlights your top portion versus your bottom portion versus all one color makes it all look like it's one vertical piece so what color do you want to pick if you're honestly just matching your tops and your bottoms you probably will feel really good in that just by itself but if you want to feel like your utmost this is the most flattering it could possibly be on my body then here's what you do. You're gonna look at your neck and your torso. If you're watching this video, we already know you have a short torso, but you could have a short neck or a long neck. So you wanna try to find tops that can come up as high as they can for your neck length. Now, if you have a shorter neck, you don't want it to come up as high. You want it to come up maybe mid chest here. But if you have a long neck, then you can go for that higher neck. And then you wanna pick a color that is in high contrast to your skin tone. Match your bottoms to whatever that color is. That is going to give you the longest line of your body that looks proportional to the rest of your body. Whether that's a tank top, a crop top, a long line top, wherever that sweet spot is for your neck, matched with your body is going to give you that really long vertical color block. Which leads me to my next point and that tank tops are going to create that nice long line versus short sleeve tops. In general, we're trying to connect our torso and shoulders down to our legs to make them look like they're more proportionate. And that is going to be easier to do with a tank top. If you haven't watched my best basic tops for your body shape, I highly encourage you to do that to find out what is the best tank top for your body. But to be completely honest, you don't have to follow every single one of these rules all the time. So let's say you choose a lower neckline. You're also gonna wanna consider your neck length. If you have a longer neck, you're gonna wanna choose something that is less contrast with your skin tone so that it's not so glaringly obvious how long your neck is and that it keeps going down all the way to your chest. The lower necklines, thicker straps will keep that vertical line and color block strong. This is when short sleeves can help thicken that line and create balance with your hips. If your horizontal body shape is wider in your hips than your shoulders, then this can help balance that out. But there's another element to this because when you have a short torso, things might not fit as properly or as they were intended to or like they were on the mannequin when they were made. So this is a really easy fix. It's a really inexpensive fix, but it is a fix. And that is to get the shoulders taken up a little bit. That cuts down on the area here, which might be longer on more proportional bodies, depending on how tall you are and how short your torso is. But again, it's super easy. It shouldn't cost you very much money at all. Conversely, you can also find adjustable strap ones, but I find those are a little bit harder to find. Because with all that, you're gonna want a really supportive bra or a really supportive bra top. Whatever it is, you want support. You wanna bring those girls up and you don't want them to be bouncing around, hanging down, doing all of those things. Just because we're working out doesn't mean we want to bring as much vertical space underneath our bust as we possibly can. Now, I think the most common question of this question around active wear that I get, besides high rise, the second one is long line tops. And I get it. The longer line hits your waist a lot sooner than it was intended to. When you see it on a model, it's like, oh, that looks great. It just kind of keeps going down her body and it's longer than just a sports bra. Love that look. And then you might get it on yourself and wonder why it doesn't line up the same. It's your short torso, which is totally fine. It just means we're gonna have to do a little bit more searching, be a little bit pickier when deciding what's a good long line top for us. Keep in mind when you're shopping online for one, it might look more like a sports bra on a model and look like a long line top on you. So look for shorter long line tops. Then also try my shoulder tailoring trick. It could just be that the long line isn't lining up on you because it's too long up here and it's pulling down too far. So try kind of, you know, folding it up here and seeing if it fits you better that way. All right, my short torso friends, I really hope this video lived up to your expectations. Let me know what else you wanna see down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.